Hey everyone, in our last video we took apart Samsung's Galaxy S6 and it proved to be quite the task. In this video, we'll be putting it back together. Let's jump right in and start with getting the front assembly back together. We'll start with the bottom half of the device and get the home button back on first. You want to slide this flex connector through the slot here and through to the back, and then just stick the home button back in the place and press down on it to make sure it's secure. Now flip the device over and press the flex cable back into place. With the home button in place, we'll get the USB port back in. First reattach the soft key LEDs, then roll the board back up and make sure everything's stuck back into place. Next, we'll stick the LCM back into place, make sure the flex connector it goes back through its slot and that the parts are aligned, and just squeeze them back together. Then you'll want to get your screwdriver and place the screw next to the AUX port. Now we're going to replace the small parts. First, the vibrating motor. Just make sure it's lined up and press it back into place. Next, replace the ear speaker and proximity sensor. You want to make sure the speaker is aligned and then push it into place first. Then you can make sure that the proximity sensor is facing the right way and just press it into its slot. Now that the uh, front assembly is back together, double check all your flex connectors and just make sure that they're all in place. Okay, let's get the rear facing camera back into the main board. Just line up the connector and squeeze it down. Then you'll want to connect the charging port assembly to the main board. And then from here you can put the main board back into place. Just make sure not to get any flex connectors cut behind it, and then press it down to make sure it's secure. Now 
Now we'll set the front facing camera back into place and then we'll reconnect all the flex connectors to the main board. Once that's done, we'll use our tweezers to reconnect the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas. Make sure you set them back into their slots as well, that way they'll fit into the case better. Next, we'll replace the battery and just reconnect its flex connector. And from here, we'll move on to the middle plate. With our tweezers, we'll replace the case buttons. All the case buttons are exactly the same, so it really doesn't matter where they go. But we'll start with the volume ones first, and you just basically drop them back into their slots. Then replace the flex ribbon over top of them and just press it all into place. We recommend testing the buttons before moving on just to make sure that everything's in working order. And now we'll just repeat the same steps with the power button. The wireless charging coil comes next. Make sure you get the ribbons in place. The loop goes around the rear camera cover and while the small tab goes on the other side of the inlet plate.
just make sure that everything is aligned up and pressed into place. Alright, and finally we can get the mid plate and front assembly back together. Just line them up and press the two halves together. Once you have the two halves together, make sure you press down on all sides, just to make sure that everything's secure. You also want to make sure that the wireless charging coil is properly in place as well. And while you're at it, you might as well do once over for the whole device. Alright, time to replace those screws. Then you can get that back cover back on, just line it up and then press it back into place. And last but not least, don't forget to replace the SIM tray. And now you're done. Just uh, don't forget to test the buttons and do a final once over. And don't forget to leave any questions below, subscribe, and check out our website for more.